So the most accurate kicker in the history of college football, Roberto Aguayo, 92.3%. Now 49 of 53 lifetime. And you can feel, you know, there's always the announcer jinx in, in basketball. Well, he's a great free throw shooter, and he clangs one off the rim. You feel confident with Aguayo. He's never missed a PAT, and he's now 49 of 53. Officials are going to finally get Roberto Aguayo set for a officially a 30-yard field goal for Mr. Automatic to try and make it a 10-point game. Once again, Roberto Aguayo, the All-American, is good. And never missed a fourth-quarter kick. 18 for 18 all-time in field goal attempts. And this one from 38. And he stays perfect. The lead now 13 for the Knolls with 8.46 to go in the fourth quarter. career field goals for Aguayo. And we see Coach Fisher there talking about blocking on the perimeter on that first screen. 42-yard attempt. The kick is up, and he hooked that one. It's no good. How about that? A very rare miss for Roberto Aguayo, who can't believe it. Seminoles march down the field, but ultra-reliable kicker Aguayo hooked one no good. Still 7-0 Florida State. 29-yard attempt, and anything really inside 40 you don't want to say it's a sure thing for a while, but it pretty pretty much is statistically 31 for 31 in his career. Hit all three so far this year inside of 40. No surprise, and he makes it a 24-10 game. It's a two-touchdown lead now for the Seminoles. A 22-yarder from a tricky angle. And he's 52 of 57 kicking field goals in his career. No trouble for Aguayo. So now he's going to tell us about his transfer from football to football. And you're potentially down 10 with the ball with 2.45 to go with a chance to maybe cut into that lead. You would take that considering the way your defense has played. And now it's a 31 yard attempt. Ooh, that was a close one by the standards of Aguayo, who usually splits the uprights, but he does make it 20 to 10 for the Seminoles. A long way, usually right down the middle. Jason Beatty, the punter, is his holder, and Beatty told me before the game, he's clearly the best-dressed guy on Florida State's team. He, he wanted to talk fashion with me, so he's got that going for him. <laughs> Aguayo from 49 to make it a 13-point halftime lead. Drives it, plenty of distance, off the upright. So only the sixth career miss of Aguayo's career. He almost looks at that with disbelief. That's not supposed to happen. They miss a field goal here, and that's why Miami's in his football game only down 20 to 10. That's shocking. Look how high that was up on the upright from 49. Now Golden said we were on the ropes big time early. So it's a 25-yard attempt. And Knowles in their fourth trip in the red zone. Lost one on downs and will have to settle for a third Aguayo field goal. Ooh. He's not vintage Aguayo tonight. Snuck that one in. Knowles add to the lead, but it's only six. Snap, then the blitz that came post-snap post and forced the incompletion. Forty three yards for the future NFL star kicker Roberto Aguayo and that's why there will be NFL general managers that in the second round of the draft will be sitting there going you know he's really good Aguayo has never missed under 40 yards from 32 here to make it a one point game and he's two for two. Let's take a look at our winning traditions. In comes Roberto Aguayo. 19 of 21, Florida State in the red zone. Aguayo, this one from 20 yards out.
And he gets it inside that right upright. Aguayo, 9 of 11 coming into the row. Look at Aguayo on field goals of 40 yards or less. Tonight already made one from 20 yards out. This one coming from 27. And he knocks it through Florida State. Up 16. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, appointed. Sometimes uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, for viewers. And Bolson starting to get some of those now, too. From 38 yards out, Aguayo. Cash money. And Florida State leading 16 to 10. Aguayo, Roberto Aguayo, the 6'1 junior, has never missed a fourth quarter kick. This will be a 56 yarder. His career long is from 53. From the left hash to remain unbeaten and perhaps a player in the college football playoff and the 29th consecutive conference win. Blocked, snuffed, rubbed out, erased. And Georgia Tech with an opportunity. Austin, still on his feet. One man, you can't believe what just happened. Aguayo, the field goal kicker. Well, just start with the notion of it being a heads up play that the Georgia Tech players were all in and just didn't celebrate. That ball gets picked up and brought back, but watch the block, and it's not just Austin returning. Watch the block down here by Chris Milton, number six, that really kind of opened up the way at the end. Aguayo has never missed inside of 40, 39 for 39 in his career. This one's gonna be beyond 40, a 41-yarder. He's just one for four beyond 40 this season. And he's in a slump by his standards. He's the most accurate kicker in the history of college football. Has made more than 97% of all of his kicks. But he had the one blocked at the end of the game last week on a 56-yarder. First time he'd ever missed any kick in the fourth quarter of any game. And now this one was comfortably left from the get-go. Well, the miss last week was driven into the line, so he gets certainly enough height on this one. He just pulls it left, and a great job by the Orange defense making the stop. Now for the offense, as you see that go wide left. Physical, he got the message there. The Guayo like to get out of this by his standard slump. He's 0 for 1 today with a miss from 41. That one's good from 35. He still has never missed from inside of 40. 40 for 40 for his career. So a chip shot for Aguayo, who by his own super lofty standards has been a little bit of a slump, but does not miss and still has an inside of 40. So a 69-yard field goal drive here, believe it or not, beyond 40, is only one for four. This is from 41. And he slides it through. So Aguayo draws the Seminoles even midway third quarter in Death Valley. The best in the country. If not the best, good snap, good hold. Boy, that went right over the upright. What do they call him? Good. It's a 26-yard field goal attempt. A little bit of an angle, but no problem. And Florida State has the lead fourth down and they're going to bring out Aguayo. Well, that's a nice stand by the Mox on defense letting them get down there with a fresh set of downs at the six. Yeah, their defensive coordinator Adam Brathwaite's got to be pretty happy with that and the Aguayo field goal of 18 yards is good. So a field goal for Florida State by the All-America and grows a semifinalist Roberto Aguayo has been great his entire career has missed four over 40 this season but he has never missed against the Gators and he is the most accurate kicker in NCAA history right down the first round NFL draft choice. And give his holder, Kaysen Beatty, who has held for every one of those NCAA all-time kicks. Nice job, that ball was kind of high and inside. 51, he's made his last eight 
attempts. Now, he tried a long field goal earlier this year against Georgia Tech. It got blocked on the final play and returned for a touchdown as the Seminoles lost that game. This kick is short. No good. Looked like Aguayu had a little bit of an issue with the footing. Looked like he went down, Dave. Tried to get a lot into that kick. And I think... Preparation time, and you go into this situation, they're going to have to rely even more on Dalvin Cook as this game goes on. A 20-yarder, as it looked like Aguayu maybe slipped again. But he put that through, and Florida State is on the board. 